Welcome to Nelly Surplus. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the PIR motion detector. The PIR can be directly plugged into your DDR, and it sends out multiple infrared beams, and when an object breaks one of these beams, the alarm is triggered and you can start recording. It gives it more of a true motion detection over pixel-based detection. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to use the iServe ESCBT651 as an example for our motion detection. Let's begin configuring alarm device settings. Please make sure that your PIR sensor is correctly attached to your DVR. Once this is complete, open up the main menu on your DVR screen by right clicking and selecting main menu at the bottom. Then select the settings option in the right corner. Click the alarm button to bring up your alarm settings screen. Now that we are viewing the alarm settings, we need to focus on a few different areas in the menu. First, let's focus on the top area. The alarm in option should be set to the same port you have your PIR motion sensor attached to on the back of your DVR. The enabled option should be filled in white. Next is the type option. This should be set specific to your motion sensor setting. Some PIR motion sensors are normal open and some are normal closed. Please, please set this accordingly. Next, let's focus on the area below. You will notice that there's many options, but we just need to look at a few of them to get our motion sensor alarm set up. First, let's look at the record option. This allows you to select which channel you want to begin recording when motion is detected. Generally, this is the camera that you have in the same area as the motion sensor. Another area is the anti-dither option. It is right here. This setting is very similar to the delay. For example, if your video has an anti-dither of 5 and a delay of 10, they will have a total of 15 seconds delay. Delay option is the time in seconds the camera continues to record after the PIR senses there is no more motion. Once you are finished, please press the save button at the bottom of the screen. Now that we have all our settings set up, let's go to the schedule screen. To do this, you go to the main menu, you click settings, and then you click schedule. Let's now click this channel button to change to the channel we want to start recording with. In this example, we'll be using one. Now we have the weekday option. You can either click all to choose all the weekdays to record or just pick a specific weekday. Now we're ready to set the alarm to record. To do this, make sure you click the box under alarm. And you can also unclick the regular box which will sell, tell your system to only record when the alarm is triggered on your selected channel. Another area of interest is the pre-record area. This setting will tell the DVR to begin recording a set amount of seconds before the alarm device is triggered. In our example, we will be using 4 seconds. Once you have set the settings how you like, you can click OK. Now that we have the schedule and alarm set, we need to activate the schedule channel for recording. To do this, right click on the main screen to bring up the main menu. Next, click on the record option. Now click in the circle next to the channel that you have recording that you want to record right next to schedule and click OK. You will see a red and green light. The red light is the DVR's pixel-based motion detector system. We are not concerned with that right now. The green light indicates that you have received a motion detection signal from the PIR motion detector, and consequently, the DVR has started recording. Thank you for watching this video at Nelly Surplus. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions.